Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English along with Tracy Wu, our Daily, Fla Fun, Fla Daily Flash Fun contributor, Donna Bazo. She's an expert on all things fun. She actually wrote the book on it, literally actually wrote two books on it, in fact, believe it or not. And we're actually happy to have Donna here to tell, you, to tell us a little bit more about how we could put fun into our days. Donna, thank you so much for joining us. Here we are, we're closing in on uh, the summer months. You know, we always concentrate on those big days, you know, like uh, your, your Thanksgiving, your Christmas. Those days are very important with our families. But after we dig out after a tricky couple of years with COVID and the pandemic, now is the time we need even more family fun. And you've got some ideas on those months that might not have all that good stuff in it that we need to amp up, right? Exactly. <laughs> now is the time. And yes, it's super easy to blow out Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. But what about these little months. You know, I say it's very important for families to be strategic and create fun, rich family memories that kids are going to cherish for a lifetime. So my challenge is look for little holidays to blow out. So okay. for example, um, I'm challenging families to look at the calendar in June. Quick Google search, I found out that there's a nail polish day. So maybe it's manicures for everyone one night. Even Ten dad, even dad has to get involved in that. Well, yes, uh, we're, you know, we have three girls in our family and dad has been known to get involved in that. So why not? <laughs> that okay. makes it even more fun. Um, or pen pal day, you know, find, find some pen pals, you know, a distant cousin, you know, challenge the kids to write letters and start pen paling. Um, I see that they also have um, national running day. So maybe, you, you know, family signs up for a 5K or create your own. But I think it's important to look for ways to celebrate as a family and, you know, uh, little holidays is, I mean, it gives you the cue. It gives you a blueprint, something that you might not have thought about. I think, I, I think you do great ideas, Donna, first off. And I think, you know, a lot of times moms or even dads or parents are like, man, we're going to do something with the kids, but what can we do? And it's a Tuesday night and we can go eat tacos, you know, but why not maybe, uh, find one of those holidays that you're talking about and just have fun right there on the front floor. I, I think that's exactly those memories that you always think of in the past. And that's what it's about is memories. Yeah. Exactly. You're, it's your job as parents to create fun, rich memories, and it doesn't have to take a long time. I know you and I talk a lot about these minute to win it, but look at the calendar in June. There's a national flip a coin month. I mean, talk about fun. That doesn't take very much time. Maybe throw some quarters out on the breakfast table and challenge the kids, you know, how many heads can you get in a minute or who's going to win the contest, you know, I, I heads or that. tails. It doesn't have to cost a lot. It doesn't have to take a lot of time. Um, to spend some time together as a family. And like you said, create those rich memories. You know, and imagine too, you know, we're in a world where we have our phones with us at all times and moms might uh, run across, we see Pinterest all the time. They're coming across these sort of things. It's probably a good idea just to keep a running list because you know, you have kids, I have had kids growing up, ain't nothing to do. You grab it, you can lay it out. Any other kind of tipsy ideas that moms can have it right off the top? Because, you know, you'd be like, man, my mom knows everything. No, she knows how to do everything. <laughs> There's some cheat sheets we can do, yeah? I do. This is perfect. You know, challenge your family to create a bucket list for the summer. Now, what better place to put a bucket list than a bucket? I would pick up a oh, sand okay. bucket at the dollar store. Have everybody write things that they want to do. And like you said, you know, take cues from Pinterest or wherever. And they can write down little slips of paper what they want to do, fold it up and throw it in the bucket. And so when you have a few minutes or a free day, somebody pulls an idea out of the bucket. Now, you know, it's all ideas that have been vetted. The kids have decided this is what they want to do, but it's still a surprise because you're picking it out of the bucket and you won't run out of ideas and you'll have like a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. You want to get through all those fun ideas before the end of the summer. All right. We have a summer family trip. It's generally coming up usually in June. School's out. They go somewhere. And still, no matter, you take the kids anywhere, they'll still, somewhere along the line, they're going to say, hey, I'm bored. There's nothing to do. All right. We're away from those resources. Are there any things like as far as travel goes that we can keep them, keep them occupied and have fun with? Well, I say if you're just a little bit strategic, the family fun starts the minute you hit the curb on, on your way out. <laughs> I love a treasure hunt. Put together some things. So say if you're going to New York City, you know, challenge the kids to see um, things like a, a taxi and mark it off their map or their list. And you can go through fun facts on your way there. So you're talking about things that you're going to see. Yeah. And I love this idea. Take lots of pictures, get prints, or maybe even get instant camera so the kids can have instant prints and come home with notebooks or scrapbooks and it. the kids can be putting together a little family fun 
scrapbook on the way home. I so, I mean, it. nobody's bored on the way there or the way back. All right. You got great ideas. Uh, how can folks get involved and get uh, find out more from, from you? Well, I have 427 more ideas in my <laughs> book, What the Fun. You can find that wherever books are sold. I also have the book, Fidget Busters, Keeps Little Kids Busy um, with Interactive Fun. And you can always follow me on Instagram at, at Donna Bazzo. Thank you so much for joining us. We love having fun with you. Thank you.